How to make a flipbook in Canva for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back. In this video, I'll show you guys how you can create an amazing flipbook in Canva. As you guys can see over here, I have this amazing ebook template, but how can we convert this into a flipbook and how can we even build something like this? Well, I'll show you guys everything step by step so you can follow along. Now, in this tutorial, I'll first show you guys how you can take any book that you already have and convert that into a flipbook. The second part of this video is going to teach you how to actually create a book like this because sometimes creating a book like this can, you know, seem really complicated. And the way that I've structured this book is really simple and easy to follow. So I'll show you guys exactly how to do that as well. So let's get into it. Now, let's get started with converting this book into our flipbook. So this is a cookbook that we have created. And to convert this into a flipbook, it's really simple and easy. All you have to do is open up your book and then go into apps on the left panel. Once you go into apps on the left panel, just search for I-S-S-U-U. -S once you search for ISSUU, -U, you will see this icon appear. Click on this icon over here. Now, once you click on this icon, it usually is going to be inserted at the bottom of your particular bar on the left and depends on how many other applications that you might have been using. And if you just search for flipbook, if you can't find it with ISSUU, just search for flipbooks in the app section and this will also open up ISSUU. So click on this and wait for the toolbar to load up the ISSU app. Now, once you have loaded up your design, you will see on the left, it has a few different options. So if you want to embed this, GIF it, social post it, or if you directly want to convert it into a flipbook. So I want this to be a flipbook and I'll just click on connect on the bottom. Then click on connect once more. This will open up a new tab in which ISUU will be linked. So make sure that the connection is completed. So we're just going to click on connect. And if you're having issues like this, so if it's not connecting, you can click on export to preview. Click on export. And we're going to wait for the export to be completed and you can just go into ISSUU and go into their direct website. So for certain locations, the ISSUU application isn't going to work, but I just turned off uh, with a new location. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to redo the connect and I'll wait for it to connect once more. And it should be able to show you guys a ISUU account login. So over here, you can create your ISSUU account and I'll just be using Google to create my account. It's not a paid account. You can do this for free. So just choose the email address that you want to use to create your ISSU account to create your flipbook. So we're gonna proceed with our account over here and then just click on continue. You can create your account beforehand as well. And if you already have an account over there, you can simply link that as well. So we're going to click on sign up for free. And you guys can see you can convert your PDFs into flipbooks. And if you take a note over here, you can directly actually upload your files into their drag and drop by clicking on share and then click on download on your PDF. Then let's say I only want the first couple of pages. I'm not going to do all of my pages. I'm just going to do 10 pages so it's like easier for us to convert and show to you guys what it's going to look like. And we're going to do this and download our PDF. Now, once your PDF has been downloaded and if ISUU is not working as fast and efficiently as it should on your PC, go into their full website and wait for your PDF to download from Canva. And then from Canva, what you're going to do is you are going to upload your Canva file over here. So this is our cookbook file and I'm just going to drag and drop that over here like this. Click on open. So once our account creation has been completed, we're going to go back into the ISUU dashboard. And then from here, I'm going to re-upload 
my document and you guys can see on the bottom it even has tools and tips and you can connect to canva from here as well if you're still having a, a slow error i think it's just a connection error that we're having on canva where it's not connecting properly but usually it just connects in a second we have just uploaded our cookbook over here and once the upload has been completed we can actually take a look at our full flipbook and this is on the free plan on isuu you don't need to actually purchase isuu before you can start converting it's really easy to do that you can do it for free and you can do it for upwards of five books uh, for free as well so you guys can see this is our book it has now been converted and this is what our flipbook looks like it's still loading up but our first page becomes the cover page and then we have our table of contents and then we have you know our first recipe our second recipe and then just like that we have our complete book so how can you create something like this by yourself on canva well for that we're gonna take a simple template and i'll show you guys from scratch how you can actually replicate this design over here so to do that, simply go into custom size on the top right on Canva, then go into six by nine inches, whatever size preference you have for your book. Once you do that, once you have opened up your own customized size, you can get started with your basic style. So for our basic style, we're going to search for food. Uh, we're going to search for food because I'm going to show you guys how to build a cookbook and we're going to go into photos. Once you go into photos, just take any dish that you personally like and just expand it to the top, like expand it like this. It's best if the image is already in a portrait style because that's going to work best. Like this image over here, this would work really well for our cover image like this. Then go into text and add a heading, add your title. So Lily lilies spice and rice a cookbook like this now once i've inserted the title over here i can choose a font from the top left and i'll choose a font of my preference like this i'm just going to change up the style like so and place it at the center then go into elements on the left and then go into shapes once you go into shapes pick out a square shape like so and then place it over here like this and you can just paste it just along the parameters of the text like this a little larger than the text then go into layer and click on send backward once you do that click on the transparency on the top right and make it semi translucent like this and for cookbook it's being cut off so it doesn't look nice so i'll just expand the text box a little and then i'll change the size of my block as well this is my block and i'll change the size so it looks a bit better over here like this so once i've completed that i might want to even change the color for this and i'll convert it into white or even black depends on the style of text i'm using if i'm using white text then you can convert the background box into black this is going to be your cover page. Then simply click on add page and you're going to add your table, uh, your basic information and then a table of contents page. You guys can see for our original cookbook, I've designed it really simply with a simple text box and an image. And you can replicate this easily simply by going into your page. And if you want to, you know, basically build the same thing as this, just go into your page, go into elements and then search for frames. Go into the circular frame and place one over here. Then go into elements and search for kitchen. And then go into graphics. Yeah, just go into graphics. And just take any of these kitchen items and then place them on the top right. Just add a couple of kitchen items like this over here. And then below that, go into text and add a bit of body text. Place your body text at the center of your page over here. And you can just insert your own image over here and your own about you section. And then pretty much do the same thing for your introduction. And just like that, you will have your cookbook. You can just follow these steps a couple of times over to create your complete cookbook using Canva. So in this way, you can generate amazing flipbooks using Canva and its simple integrations. 
I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our YouTube channel, and I will catch you guys in the next video.